good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines. Now, our Sunday special takes us to Fort Collins in hopes of rewriting the record books. I think we'll get a kick out of it. Yeah. Yeah. He's just kicking it. There you oh, there go. Loudon Harger has the loudest kicks in Colorado. I get a lot of points. I get a lot of points. <laughs> the Fort Collins Jr. can be seen running all over the field on Fridays, playing safety and receiver. Let's go, Loud! But it's his three step kicking approach that's got everybody watching Loudon. There you go. In fact, Harger booted a 54 yard kick with tons of room to spare. It feels pretty cool that I know like and not a lot of people can do that, so it's pretty special. Hey, quicker, 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 that's in block. So of course, now we've got to see how far this lambkin can leg it. Snap, good hold. Good. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Hey! Yeah. Yes, sir! Nice. Now only six kids in Colorado history has ever hit a 60-yard field goal, and Loudon, with a little help from Nine News, is looking to be number seven. Set. That's money. Get there. Oh! <laughs> it's television. Let's try again. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Get it. Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Loud and clear. Life is just amazing when work is seeing how far a kid can boot a football. If you want to break some records and need our help, email us at sports at 9news.com. Hey, the votes are in, and this week's honor roll winner is Alex Martinez, Denver North senior forward. He's the top vote getter and the winner of our 9 News honor roll top play of the week with his three plays, the hat trick kid. Hey, fun, Alex. Come on now, yeah. <laughs> Gateway High School, they just introduced their new head football coach, and it's Ernest Collins Jr. He spent nine years as the head man in charge at Northern Colorado from 2011 to 2019. He's a proud 1989 grad of Denver East High, and he's now moving away from the college ranks to lead the Gateway program, and he was just fantastic in his intro meeting with the community. From what I saw in there, you just put on a clinic. You're looking fantastic. <laughs> you were all just on point. Looking at all the parents and coach or parents and players, they're all in on you. How great does it feel to be here today? It, it is. It's, it's awesome, man. Especially being, you know, part of my hometown. You know, I mean, I, I grew up in Denver, but Aurora, Denver, to me, it's all the same. You know, and for me to be able to come back and now give back to the high school kids, my the first 25 years spent with college. You know, and so now it's I get to come back and. And, and give it to just, uh, you know, just the, the embryo, so to speak, before they get out and get to college and things like that. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. The new head coach at Gateway High School, how does that sound when we say that? Sounds awesome, you know. And, and for me, it's, it was purposeful because it, it's easy to come and be a part of something that's already been established uh, with the student population. And I want to be a part of putting Gateway on the map as to being not just uh, a powerhouse in athletics, but a, a powerhouse in education so the parents can understand that we can leave our young people uh, in this community and they can come out with a great education and play some good, good sports. Time to play number two, Lutheran number five, Rez Christian. Here's Rez Christian's Briley Schweer with the block. She's pumped up, so am I, Briley, but that's Lou High's Lexi Wilmoth with the ace. That'll go precision, Lou High, they won in four sets. Saka Saka, this is Golden High goalie, Connor McCormick getting up, getting up with hops to make the save. Slow-mo version, make it that much cooler, and we'll freeze frame it too. Love that. Hey, Stanley Lake, they won this one 1-0 in overtime. Sophomore level volleyball, Arvada West Pooter follow the circle, our favorite game. That's Delaney Catapotis from a seated position. She finds a way, find a way all the time. Delaney volleys it over the net. They get the point. A West, they win 2-0. Number three, Denver South, number four, Rangeview. Here's Rangeview's QB, Reese Barkley, tiptoe. Stay quiet, Reese. Stay sneaky, gets his way into the end zone. Denver South's quarterback, Joseph Capra. He's pretty tricky, too. Fakes the handoff. He scores, but here we go. Move of the decade. Not even talking about the football score here. Rashad Caldwell flipping out in celebration. Yeah, Rashad. South, they win by 10 football points. Gain a million style points. There really is nothing cooler than pulling off a backflip. Rashad Caldwell, that dude is the swaggiest kid in Colorado.
I'm Scotty Gange. Attack your day like Rashad attacks his flips. We'll see you next week here on the Nine News Prep Rally.